Zakar Hussain has been jailed for eight months after creating what the judge described as a web of deceit over a lengthy period of time with a degree of sophistication in respect of lies about his speeding at 151 miles an hour on the M62. His car was first clocked doing 140 miles an hour at 1.30 in the morning on Christmas Day of 2019 and was caught again at 8 o'clock the same evening doing 151. However, that wasn't the extent of his wrongdoing and wasn't the only reason he went to prison. In his initial response to the police, he gave the name of another man who could not be traced. Later on, during police interviews, he claimed that his car was being repaired at a garage at the time of these offences, although he produced a fake invoice and this garage was found not to exist. The police also found incriminating photographs and text messages on his iPhone, which included a picture of Mr. Hussein in his Mercedes AMG just 20 minutes after he was spotted doing 151 miles an hour. As I have said many times previously, giving false information to the police about being involved in an offence is perverting the course of justice. The judge in the case said it needs to be repeated that such behaviour cuts to the heart of the justice system. And when Mr. Hussein's barrister asked for a suspended sentence, saying that he had learned his lesson and ran his own business, the judge said that this was a web of deceit over a lengthy period of time with a degree of sophistication, and the only question was whether that inevitable custodial sentence could be suspended. The judge said, I'm afraid in the circumstances of your case, it cannot, and sentenced him to eight months in prison. So again, as I've said many times on this channel, giving false information to the police about your involvement in an offence is likely to lead to a more severe punishment than you might have got for the original offence. So please leave me your comments below, and thank you for watching.